In classical mathematics, analytic geometry, also known as coordinate geometry or Cartesian geometry, is the study of geometry using a coordinate system. This contrasts with synthetic geometry. Analytic geometry is widely used in physics and engineering, and also in aviation, rocketry, space science, and spaceflight. It is the foundation of most modern fields of geometry, including algebraic, differential, discrete and computational geometry. Usually the Cartesian coordinate system is applied to manipulate equations for planes, straight lines, and squares, often in two and sometimes in three dimensions. Geometrically, one studies the Euclidean plane two dimensions and Euclidean space three dimensions. As taught in school books, analytic geometry can be explained more simply, it is concerned with defining and representing geometrical shapes in a numerical way and extracting numerical information from shapes' numerical definitions and representations. That the algebra of the real numbers can be employed to yield results about the linear continuum of geometry relies on the cantor dedekind axiom. History Ancient Greece The Greek mathematician Menichmus solved problems and proved theorems by using a method that had a strong resemblance to the use of coordinates and it has sometimes been maintained that he had introduced analytic geometry. Apollonius of Perga, in On Determinate Section, dealt with problems in a manner that may be called an analytic geometry of one dimension, with the question of finding points on a line that were in a ratio to the others. Apollonius in the Conics further developed a method that is so similar to analytic geometry that his work is sometimes thought to have anticipated the work of Descartes by some 1,800 years. His application of reference lines, a diameter and a tangent is essentially no different from our modern use of a coordinate frame, where the distances measured along the diameter from the point of tangency are the abscissas, and the segments parallel to the tangent and intercepted between the axis and the curve are the ordinates. He further developed relations between the abscissas and the corresponding ordinates that are equivalent to rhetorical equations of curves. However, although Apollonius came close to developing analytic geometry, he did not manage to do so since he did not take into account negative magnitudes and in every case the coordinate system was superimposed upon a given curve a posteriori instead of a priori. That is, equations were determined by curves, but curves were not determined by equations. Coordinates, variables, and equations were subsidiary notions applied to a specific geometric situation. Topic: <inaudible> Persia. The 11th century Persian mathematician Omar Khayyam saw a strong relationship between geometry and algebra and was moving in the right direction when he helped to close the gap between numerical and geometric algebra with his geometric solution of the general cubic equations but the decisive step came later with Descartes. Omar Khayyam is credited with identifying the foundations of algebraic geometry and his book Treatise on Demonstrations of Problems of Algebra 1070, which laid down the principles of algebra, is part of the body of Persian mathematics that was eventually transmitted to Europe. Because of his thoroughgoing geometrical approach to algebraic equations, Khayyam can be considered a precursor of Descartes in the invention of analytic geometry. Western Europe Analytic geometry was independently invented by René Descartes and Pierre de Fermat, although Descartes is sometimes given sole credit. Cartesian geometry, the alternative term used for analytic geometry, is named after Descartes. Descartes made significant progress with the methods in an essay titled La Geometry, Geometry one of the three accompanying essays appendices published in 1637 together with his Discourse on the Method for Rightly Directing One's Reason and Searching for Truth in the Sciences, commonly referred to as Discourse on Method. This work, written in his native French tongue, and its philosophical principles, provided a foundation for calculus in Europe. Initially the work was not well received, due, in part, to the many gaps in arguments and complicated equations. Only after the translation into Latin and the addition of commentary by Van Schooten in 1649 and further work thereafter did Descartes' masterpiece receive due recognition. Pierre de Fermat also pioneered the development of analytic geometry. 
Although not published in his lifetime, a manuscript form of Ad Locos Planos et Solidos Isagoge Introduction to Plane and Solid Loci was circulating in Paris in 1637, just prior to the publication of Descartes' Discourse. Clearly written and well received, the introduction also laid the groundwork for analytical geometry. The key difference between Fermat's and Descartes' treatments is a matter of viewpoint. Fermat always started with an algebraic equation and then described the geometric curve which satisfied it, whereas Descartes started with geometric curves and produced their equations as one of several properties of the curves. As a consequence of this approach, Descartes had to deal with more complicated equations and he had to develop the methods to work with polynomial equations of higher degree. It was Leonard Euler who first applied the coordinate method in a systematic study of space curves and surfaces. Coordinates <inaudible> 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 In analytic geometry, the plane is given a coordinate system, by which every point has a pair of real number coordinates. Similarly, Euclidean space is given coordinates where every point has three coordinates. The value of the coordinates depends on the choice of the initial point of origin. There are a variety of coordinate systems used, but the most common are the following. Topic: <laughs> Cartesian coordinates in a plane or space. The most common coordinate system to use is the Cartesian coordinate system, where each point has an x-coordinate representing its horizontal position, and a y-coordinate representing its vertical position. These are typically written as an ordered pair x, y. This system can also be used for three-dimensional geometry, where every point in Euclidean space is represented by an ordered triple of coordinates x, y, z. Polar coordinates in a plane In polar coordinates, every point of the plane is represented by its distance r from the origin and its angle θ from the polar axis. Cylindrical coordinates in a space In cylindrical coordinates, every point of space is represented by its height z, its radius r from the z-axis and the angle theta its projection on the xy plane makes with respect to the horizontal axis. Spherical coordinates in a space In spherical coordinates, every point in space is represented by its distance ρ from the origin, the angle θ its projection on the xy plane makes with respect to the horizontal axis, and the angle φ that it makes with respect to the z-axis. The names of the angles are often reversed in physics. <laughs> <laughs> Equations and curves In analytic geometry, any equation involving the coordinates specifies a subset of the plane, namely the solution set for the equation, or locus. For example, the equation y x corresponds to the set of all the points on the plane whose x-coordinate and y-coordinate are equal. These points form a line, and y X is said to be the equation for this line. In general, linear equations involving X and Y specify lines, quadratic equations specify conic sections, and more complicated equations describe more complicated figures. Usually, a single equation corresponds to a curve on the plane. This is not always the case. The trivial equation X. Topic <laughs> X specifies the entire plane, and the equation X2 plus Y2. Zero specifies only the single point zero, zero. In three dimensions, a single equation usually gives a surface, and a curve must be specified as the intersection of two surfaces see below, or as a system of parametric equations. The equation x2 plus y2 equals r2 is the equation for any circle centered at the origin zero, zero with a radius of r. Equals. Lines and planes equals Lines in a Cartesian plane or, more generally, in affine coordinates, can be described algebraically by linear equations. 
In two dimensions, the equation for non-vertical lines is often given in the slope-intercept form y equals m x plus b display style y equals m x plus b where m is the slope or gradient of the line b is the y intercept of the line x is the independent variable of the function y equals fx in a manner analogous to the way lines in a two-dimensional space are described using a point slope form for their equations planes in a three-dimensional space have a natural description using a point in the plane and a vector orthogonal to it the normal vector to indicate its inclination specifically let r 0 display style math bfr underscore 0 be the position vector of some point p 0 equals x 0 y 0 z 0 display style p underscore 0 equals x underscore 0 y underscore 0 z underscore 0 and let n equals a b c display style math b f n equals a b c be a non-zero vector. The plane determined by this point and vector consists of those points p display style p with position vector r display style math b f r such that the vector drawn from p zero display style p underscore zero to p display style p is perpendicular to n display style math b f n. Recalling that two vectors are perpendicular if and only if their dot product is zero, it follows that the desired plane can be described as the set of all points r. Display style math bfr such that n r minus r zero equals zero. Display style math bf n c d o t math bfr math bfr underscore zero equals zero. The dot here means a dot product, not scalar multiplication. Expanded, this becomes a x minus x zero plus b y minus y zero plus c z minus z zero equals zero Display style a x x underscore zero plus b y y underscore zero plus c z z underscore zero equals zero, which is the point normal form of the equation of a plane. This is just a linear equation. A x plus b y plus c z plus d equals Zero, where d equals minus a x zero plus b y zero plus c z zero. Display style x plus by plus c z plus d equals zero text where d equals x underscore zero plus by underscore zero plus c z underscore zero. Conversely, it is easily shown that if a, b, c, and d are constants and a, b, and c are not all zero, then the graph of the equation a x plus b y plus c z plus d equals zero display style x plus by plus c z plus d equals zero is a plane having the vector n equals a 
B C display style math BFn equals a B C as a normal this familiar equation for a plane is called the general form of the equation of the plane in three dimensions lines cannot be described by a single linear equation so they are frequently described by parametric equations X equals X 0 plus a T display style X equals X underscore 0 plus it y equals y 0 plus b t display style y equals y underscore 0 plus b t z equals z 0 plus c t display style z equals z underscore 0 plus c t where x, y, and z are all functions of the independent variable t which ranges over the real numbers. x0, y0, z0 is any point on the line. a, b, and c are related to the slope of the line, such that the vector a, b, c is parallel to the line. <laughs> Conic sections In the Cartesian coordinate system, the graph of a quadratic equation in two variables is always a conic section, though it may be degenerate, and all conic sections arise in this way. The equation will be of the form a x 2 plus b x y plus c y 2 plus D x plus e y plus f equals zero with a b c not all zero. Display style x carrot two plus b c plus psi carrot two plus d x plus a plus f equals zero text with a b c text not all zero. As scaling all six constants yields the same locus of zeros, one can consider conics as points in the five-dimensional projective space p five. Display style math bf p carrot five. The conic sections described by this equation can be classified using the discriminant b 2 minus 4 a c display style b caret 2 4 ac if the conic is non degenerate then if b 2 minus 4 ac 0 display style b caret 2 4 ac the equation represents an ellipse if a equals c display style a equals c and b equals 0 display style b equals 0 the equation represents a circle which is a special case of an ellipse if b 2 minus 4 ac equals 0 display style b caret 2 4 ac equals 0 the equation represents a parabola if b 2 minus 4 ac greater than 0 display style b caret 2 4 ac C greater than zero, the equation represents a hyperbola. If we also have a plus c equals zero, display style a plus c equals zero, the equation represents a rectangular hyperbola. Topic: <laughs> Quadric surfaces. A quadric or quadric surface is a two-dimensional surface in three-dimensional space defined as the locus of zeros of a quadratic polynomial. In coordinates x1, x2, x3, the general quadric is defined by the algebraic equation i j equals 1 3 x i q i j x j plus i equals 1 3 P I X I plus R equals zero. 
Display style sum underscore i j equals one carrot three x underscore i q underscore i j x underscore j plus sum underscore i equals one carrot three p underscore i x underscore i plus r equals zero. Quadric surfaces include ellipsoids, including the sphere, paraboloids, hyperboloids, cylinders, cones, and planes. Topic: Distance and angle. In analytic geometry, geometric notions such as distance and angle measure are defined using formulas. These definitions are designed to be consistent with the underlying Euclidean geometry. For example, using Cartesian coordinates on the plane, the distance between two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is defined by the formula d equals x2 minus x 1 2 plus y 2 minus y 1 2 display style d equals sqrt x underscore 2 x underscore 1 carrot 2 plus y underscore 2 y underscore 1 carrot 2 which can be viewed as a version of the Pythagorean theorem Similarly, the angle that a line makes with the horizontal can be defined by the formula theta equals arctan m display style theta equals arctan m where m is the slope of the line. In 3 dimensions, distance is given by the generalization of the Pythagorean theorem d equals x 2 minus x 1 2 plus y 2 minus y 1 2 plus z 2 minus z 1 2 Display style d equals sqrt x underscore two x underscore one carrot two plus y underscore two y underscore one carrot two plus z underscore two z underscore one carrot two, while the angle between two vectors is given by the dot product. The dot product of two Euclidean vectors a and b is defined by a b equals d e f a b cos theta display style math bf a c d o t math bf b stackra mathrm def equals math bf a math bf b cos theta where theta is the angle between a and b topic transformations Transformations are applied to a parent function to turn it into a new function with similar characteristics. The graph of R x y display style R x y is changed by standard transformations as follows: changing x display style x to x minus h display style xh moves the graph to the right h display style h units changing y display style y to y minus k display style yk moves the graph up k display style k units changing x display style x to x b display style x b stretches the graph horizontally by a factor of b display style b think of the x display style x as being dilated changing y Display style y two y a 
display style y a stretches the graph vertically changing x display style x to x cos a plus y sin a display style x cos a plus y sin a and changing y display style y to minus x sin a plus y cos a display style x sin a plus y cos a rotates the graph by an angle a display style a there are other standard transformation not typically studied in elementary analytic geometry because the transformations change the shape of objects in ways not usually considered. Skewing is an example of a transformation not usually considered. For more information, consult the Wikipedia article on affine transformations. For example, the parent function y equals 1 x Display style y equals 1 x has a horizontal and a vertical asymptote and occupies the first and third quadrant and all of its transformed forms have one horizontal and vertical asymptote and occupies either the first and third or second and fourth quadrant. In general, if y equals f x display style y equals f x then it can be transformed into y equals a f b x minus k plus h display style y equals a f b x k plus h in the new transformed function a display style a is the factor that vertically stretches the function if it is greater than 1 or vertically compresses the function if it is less than 1 and for negative a display style values the function is reflected in the x display style x axis the b display style b Value compresses the graph of the function horizontally if greater than 1 and stretches the function horizontally if less than 1, and like a display style a reflects the function in the y display style y axis when it is negative. The k display style k and h display style h values introduce translations h display style h vertical and k display style k horizontal positive h display style h and k display style k values mean the function is translated to the positive end of its axis and negative meaning translation towards the negative end Transformations can be applied to any geometric equation whether or not the equation represents a function. Transformations can be considered as individual transactions or in combinations. Suppose that R x y display style R x y is a relation in the x y display style x y plane. For example x 2 plus y 2 minus 1 equals 0 display style x caret 2 plus y caret 2 minus 1 equals 0 is the relation that describes the unit circle topic finding intersections of geometric objects For two geometric objects P and Q represented by the relations P x y display style P x y and Q x y 
display style q x y the intersection is the collection of all points x y display style x y which are in both relations for example p display style p might be the circle with radius 1 and center 0 0 display style 0 0 p equals x y x 2 plus y 2 equals 1 Display style p equals x y x caret two plus y caret two equals one, and q display style q might be the circle with radius one and center one zero q equals x y x minus one two plus Y two equals one display style one zero q equals x y x one carrot two plus y carrot two equals one. The intersection of these two circles is the collection of points which make both equations true. Does the point zero zero display style zero zero make both equations true? Using Zero, zero. Display style zero, zero. For x, y. Display style x, y. The equation for q. Display style q becomes zero minus one two plus zero two equals 1 display style 0 to 1 caret 2 plus o caret 2 equals 1 or minus 1 2 equals 1 display style minus 1 caret 2 equals 1 which is true so 0 0 display style 0 0 is in the relation q display style q on the other hand still using 0 0 display style 0 0 for x y display style x y the equation for p display style p becomes 0 2 plus 0 2 equals 1 display style 0 caret 2 plus o caret 2 equals 1 or 0 equals 1 display style 0 equals 1 which is false 0 0 display style 0 0 is not in p display style p so it is not in the intersection the intersection of p display style p and q display style q can be found by solving the simultaneous equations x 2 plus y 2 equals one display style x caret two plus y caret two equals one x minus one two plus y two equals one display style x one caret two plus y caret two equals one traditional methods for finding intersections include substitution and elimination substitution solve the first equation for y display style y in terms of x display style x 
and then substitute the expression for y display style y into the second equation x 2 plus y 2 equals 1 display style x caret 2 plus y caret 2 equals 1 y 2 equals 1 minus x 2 display style y caret 2 equals 1 x caret 2 we then substitute this value for y 2 display style y caret 2 into the other equation and proceed to solve for x display style x x minus 1 2 plus 1 minus x 2 equals 1 display style x 1 caret 2 plus 1 x caret 2 equals 1 x 2 minus 2 x plus 1 plus 1 minus x 2 equals 1 display style x caret 2 2x plus 1 plus 1 x caret 2 equals 1 minus 2 x equals minus 1 display style 2x equals minus 1 x equals 1 2 display style x equals 1 half next we place this value of x display style x in either of the original equations and solve for y display style y 1 2 2 plus y 2 equals 1 display style 1 half caret 2 plus y caret 2 equals 1 y 2 equals 3 4 display style y caret 2 equals 3 quarters y equals plus or minus 3 2 display style y equals frac pm sqrt 3 2 so our intersection has two points 1 2 plus 3 2 a n d 1 2 minus 3 2 Display style left one half frac plus sqrt three two right mathram and left one half frac sqrt three two right elimination add or subtract a multiple of one equation to the other equation so that one of the variables is eliminated. For our current example, if we subtract the first equation from the second, we get x minus one two minus x 2 equals 0 display style x1 caret 2 x caret 2 equals 0 the y 2 display style y caret 2 in the first equation is subtracted from the y 2 display style y caret 2 in the second equation leaving no y display style y term the variable y display style y has been eliminated we then solve the remaining equation for x display style x in the same way as in the substitution method x 2 minus 2 x plus 1 plus 1 minus x 2 equals 1 
Display style x carrot two two x plus one plus one x carrot two equals one minus two x equals minus one Display style two x equals minus one x equals one two Display style x equals one half We then place this value of x display style x in either of the original equations and solve for y display style y 1 2 2 plus y 2 equals 1 display style 1 half caret 2 plus y caret 2 equals 1 y 2 equals 3 4 display style y caret 2 equals 3 quarters y equals plus or minus 3 2 display style y equals frac pm sqrt 3 2 so our intersection has two points 1 2 plus 3 2 a n d 1 2 minus 3 2 display style left one half frac plus sqrt 3 2 right mathrm and left one half frac sqrt 3 2 right for conic sections as many as four points might be in the intersection Topic. Finding intercepts One type of intersection which is widely studied is the intersection of a geometric object with the x and y coordinate axes. The intersection of a geometric object and the y axis is called the Y display style Y intercept of the object. The intersection of a geometric object and the x display style x axis is called the x display style x intercept of the object. For the line Y equals m x plus b display style y equals mx plus b the parameter b display style b specifies the point where the line crosses the y display style y axis depending on the context either b display style b or the point 0 b display style 0 b is called the y display style y intercept topic tangents and normals topic tangent lines and planes In geometry, the tangent line or simply tangent to a plane curve at a given point is the straight line that just touches the curve at that point. Informally, it is a line through a pair of infinitely close points on the curve. More precisely, a straight line is said to be a tangent of a curve y. Topic: <laughs> f(x) at a point x. C on the curve if the line passes through the point C, F, C on the curve and has slope F C where F is the derivative of F. A similar definition applies to space curves and curves in n-dimensional Euclidean space. As it passes through the point where the tangent line and the curve meet, called the point of tangency, the tangent line is going in the same direction as the curve, and is thus the best straight line approximation to the curve at that point. Similarly, the tangent plane to a surface at a given point is the plane that 
just touches the surface at that point. The concept of a tangent is one of the most fundamental notions in differential geometry and has been extensively generalized. See tangent space. Topic: <laughs> Normal line and vector. In geometry, a normal is an object such as a line or vector that is perpendicular to a given object. For example, in the two-dimensional case, the normal line to a curve at a given point is the line perpendicular to the tangent line to the curve at the point. In the three-dimensional case a surface normal, or simply normal, to a surface at a point P is a vector that is perpendicular to the tangent plane to that surface at P. The word normal is also used as an adjective, a line normal to a plane, the normal component of a force, the normal vector, etc. The concept of normality generalizes to orthogonality. See also Linear equation Vector space Cross product Algebraic geometry Notes <laughs>